The ocean is central to life on Earth. It feeds us, it connects us, it drives economies and shapes our climate. Around 90% of global trade moves by sea. 98% of internet traffic flows through underwater cables. And in 2020, the global ocean economy was valued at over 2.6 trillion US dollars, with tourism and offshore energy among its largest contributors. But at the foundation of all these activities lies something often unseen, hydrographic data. Hydrography is the science of measuring and describing the physical features of the ocean. Depth, the shape of the seafloor, tides, currents, temperature and more. This information is vital for activities such as safe navigation, coastal development, marine renewable energy, tourism and marine conservation. Whether it is to develop offshore energy projects or fisheries and aquaculture, operators need information on sea depth, currents and tides. Data has a direct link to decisions. Today, this information is more crucial than ever. The ocean is changing. Melting sea ice is opening new shipping routes in polar regions. Sea level is rising at different rates across the globe. Coastlines and estuaries are shifting due to erosion and coastal development. Seabed mapping provides the hydrographic data to monitor changes and support decisions. At the same time, a quiet revolution is taking place beneath the surface. The implementation of the S100 framework in 2026 is changing how ocean data is shared and used. Like maps on phones that show traffic or nearby restaurants, S100 will create a similar system for the seas. Mariners will be able to access near real-time data on ocean currents, weather and harbour information in addition to the base layer of depths and coastlines. With this, ships could optimise routes based on the latest conditions, reduce emissions and enhance safety, saving time, fuel and resources. Seabed mapping enables ocean action not just to better understand the ocean, but to find a balance between use and preservation for generations to come.